So if you're scared of elevators, I think that story probably freaked you out a little oh bit more. Gosh. I know my brother is scared to death of elevators. He will not take an elevator. So we wow. went up to the CN Tower in Toronto, mm -hmm. in Canada. He would not go up. <laughs> he there were no stairs. Scared to death. Alternative. Uh, I'm Maybe. sure there was, but he, <laughs> that would be just, quite a workout. I'm going to stay on the ground. <laughs> wow. You know, I've gotten caught in an elevator before, but Ooh. I just didn't know that <laughs> you needed a key to, to get it going. This was, I was very young to, okay. to make this story sound a little bit better. <laughs> wow. No, that's, uh, that can be some scary stuff. It was scary. <laughs> well, today is not too scary, but the weekend okay. could be scary Ew. for some people if they don't like those triple digit temperatures. We're warming up today, hot and sunny, and we're even warmer than we were yesterday. And those triple digits are pretty close in our near future. And then some clouds move in starting Monday with a chance of showers over southeast Oregon. 63 degrees degrees in Boise right now with winds at 8 miles per hour and humidity at 38 percent. And over the, the region, 53 degrees in Mountain Home, pretty close to that in Nampa. And those higher elevations, Stanley at 33 degrees. It sounds pretty chilly up there. And in Baker City, 46, the same as McCall, 46 degrees. The almanac showing we're actually above our normal temperatures today. We've actually been below normal for this time of year for the last couple of days, but we're not quite reaching those records of 106. The overnight low for tonight is around 63 degrees. And the satellite and radar showing there's an upper level trough that's making its way over into Canada and there's some moisture hanging out around there and there's an upper level ridge off the west coast here that's actually holding on to some monsoonal moisture. So the combination of that monsoonal moisture, it's actually increasing those temperatures as we promised through the weekend and there's a northwest flow bringing up some dry air into the Treasure Valley. That monsoonal moisture will make its debut closer to Oregon than the Treasure Valley starting Tuesday. This future cache showing we're staying nice and clear in through Saturday and then you can see it fast forward. That's when we're going to see some more cloud increase, but we're still staying pretty dry here in the Treasure Valley and we can expect that to continue through the week. A look at the regional forecast. We're seeing 92 degrees in Twin Falls, Jerome at 89 degrees and Burley at the same 89 degrees, sunny and warmer through the rest of the region, 83 degrees in Stanley. So it's a nice day to head up to those mountains today, 87 degrees in Fairfield. And over in Council, 96 degrees. They're really nearing that 100 degree mark in Riggins at 97. McCall at 85 degrees. And in Payette, 96 degrees with an overnight low of 58. Ontario, 57 overnight. And Nampa, 94 degrees. Over in the Treasure Valley, we're seeing Meridian at 96 and similar temperatures all around the region. So the extended forecast, this is what we're going to see for the rest of the week. Those triple digits making their making their debut on Saturday and Sunday. Some more cloud coverage moving in on Monday and Tuesday and that monsoonal moisture is going to show up around southeastern Oregon, possibly near the Nevada border, but we're expecting uh, we're expecting Idaho to stay pretty dry for the next week.